Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful Ramadan so far. Today is the third day of Ramadan. It is 9.20. In the morning, I'm feeding Elena her breakfast. We are basically on a Ramadan schedule this year, you guys. I know it's only the third day, but we have already decided that we have like shifted our schedules and we're just so like blessed to be able to make our own schedules that we were like, why don't we just push our hours back? few hours during the day and that's what we did so i texted emily last night i was like hey she usually comes to our house at 10 i was like hey i think during ramadan we're gonna switch our hours <clears throat> and you can come at 12 and leave at 4 instead and she was fine with that and so we were like great now we can get a couple more hours of sleep after fajr i will tell you that being a mom and fasting this is my first year it is not for the week, you guys. You can't really sleep in as much as you want to, um, obviously, because this is our little natural alarm clock. You still have to feed them every meal and snacks and everything. And <laughs> it's so funny because like we're always used to like eating her scraps and we're having to like make sure like we save them <laughs> or I don't know, just like not waste them some other way. Then just like chasing her around with all her energy when we're just like dead at the end of the day. That's why I like go to my parents and we just all like take turns playing with her and then the other one just like lays on the couch. <laughs> That's what we did this past weekend. There's a reason why heaven lies at your mother's feet. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> Elena is also on Ramadan time and it all started because the second day of Ramadan, she woke up with us for suhoor and we were like, oh my God. Like she was up like laughing, singing, talking. She was awake and so we were like, oh no, like we need to go back to sleep and we're so tired. Thankfully she did go back to sleep, but since she did wake up for a little bit, she slept in until like 9.30. So her whole day was just shifted back. So we were like, you know what? We're gonna wanna go to Iftar's at our family's house and stay there late and all this stuff. And it would just be nice if she could just be awake with us. So that's what we're gonna do this year. She drinks out of my <laughs> water bottle, you guys. Like her favorite thing. <laughs> Mama. And now Miss Elena is all ready to go to her grandma's house. So beautiful, mashallah. And I love her outfit. Oh my gosh. I just got a bunch of new stuff from HM and baby Dora. That's so cute. She's playing with a clean baby wipe. <laughs> the newest thing is her obsession with babies. So after Omar's sister Mera had her baby, Elena has been obsessed. Like she loves her baby Malik so, so much. Every time she sees him, she has to like give him a million kisses and say baby like a hundred times. And now like whenever we're home, she'll just randomly be like, shh, baby, baby sleeping. And that's what she's trying to say. Shh, Elena, baby. She's so cute. I'm like, is this a sign that I need another baby? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, it's just not helping my baby fever like whatsoever. Even whenever we're trying to like draw stuff, I ask her what she wants to draw and she wants me to draw a baby every time. So I've had to perfect my baby drawing skills. <laughs> I thought we could update on how fasting is going now that we've gotten a few days in and since Omar is going through the caffeine withdrawals. Like, yeah, well, I hope, I mean, I'm. I'm glad I'm actually past the worst part of it right now. The first day I was, I couldn't do anything at all. I was so tired. So I just couldn't function. I couldn't do anything. The second day I had this ringing in my ear that was like so bad. I felt like I was concussed. Oh my it was God. so bad. Yeah. Concussed. Yeah. I haven't had that issue, thank God, because I yeah. don't drink caffeine. And I had already but... cut down my caffeine intake like a week before I'm yeah, on started. Yeah, imagine if you hadn't have done that. Yeah, I guess my coffee is just really strong because it's a light roast, so the caffeine is higher, but anyway. Elena has just been eating all her snacks, and they've been looking so good, and it's been very tempting. <laughs> no, but anyways, it's not been too, too bad. It's just my energy just really plummets towards the end of the day. Yeah. Yep. And now we gotta keep this girl entertained. But you know, the longer it goes on, the more your yeah. body gets used to it. So yeah. And the first day, you know, we didn't eat, we didn't wake up for sahur the first day. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys that. That was like probably what was so bad. I was about so the first mad day. at myself. We slept through our alarms and we missed sahur and fajr, yeah. which we were so mad. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys maybe another day this week whenever we're doing more fun stuff. But tonight. 
We're basically gonna keep Elena entertained, eat iftar at our house, and just finish up some work whenever Elena goes to sleep. It is a couple days later. Just wanted to pick up my vlog camera because we're having a little family dinner at my house. And I wish I could take credit for cooking, but I did absolutely nothing because Amanda and my dad came over and filmed a cooking with Baba for her channel. And let me show you guys what they made. They made salmon, potatoes, and shrimp ceviche, so I'm super excited to dig in. If you guys want the recipe, it'll be on Amanda's channel. Oh, that looks so oh, good. I did make these viral dates that are stuffed with peanut butter and covered in chocolate, and they turned out so pretty. They are a little bit too sweet for me, but they are pretty good, I will say so. It's Saturday today. I'm about to leave to go to my parents' house. They're inviting company over tonight, and I'm planning on vlogging like properly today. I have not properly oh. vlogged for this video yet, and it's mainly because I filmed three other videos this week, which took up some of my time, but a girl chat video is coming soon, a house update video is coming soon. Stay tuned for those. Um, but how have y'all been this week? I just wanted to kind of update y'all on my first week of Ramadan since I haven't really vlogged much at all this week. I fasted the first two days of Ramadan and then I got my period and I have not been fasting. So if any, if any of you guys are not Muslim, women who are on their periods don't have to fast. So it's been very nice, but once I have to start fasting again, it's gonna be like starting Ramadan all over again for me, which is usually the hardest part. But anyways, Elena's getting antsy, so let's head to my parents. Oh, we just... made it to Lainey and Sita's uh -huh, house. Uh -huh. Straight to the garden. Straight to the garden of mint. She's gardening. She has to pick the mint, and then she has to let everyone smell it. Wow, that's nice. Can I have some? Can I smell some, Can I let mama smell? Can you let mama smell? Let me smell. Smells so good. It smells so good. I don't know how she's allowing me to let her wear this headband. Whenever she's at my house, I have absolutely nothing in my backyard except for weeds. So she goes around and just picks weeds and has me smell them. Even <laughs> though they, they smell like nothing. Look at her! Wee! Do that thing. With Elena, where we have like one of us on either side. Okay. Ready? We're gonna. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm very surprised. Oh, you got to go. Hi. You'll be tiny. Hi. Can I smell? Let's see those smell your mint. Can I smell? Can you let see those now? You like it? You like it, Lele? Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you. <laughs> Is she saying I do? She's saying head. <laughs> oh. Florida does have a bunch of big varieties, like all the amazing. They're talking about big mangoes that they saw on TikTok. Everyone is starving today. Mm. I feel so bad. I'm like, sorry guys. It must be nice. <laughs> My parents made matlube, which we call upside down, which is that little bit basically means upside down. With nuts, yeah. carrots, potatoes, lamb, lamb and chicken. We have some homemade pita bread, pickles, olives, pickled turnips. Here's some dates to break our fast. Salad. And then they made me a little salad without onion because my stomach. It is Sunday today. I did not get to finish filming our star last night with my family just because once the company came over, it was just really awkward to film anything. So we just didn't get our cameras out or anything last night after they got there. But today is Sunday. It's not a typical Sunday because Omar and I were just filming something for the past like three hours. We usually don't film things that are like sponsored or do any work stuff on weekends, but this was very last minute. And so we just did it today. And my parents are watching Elena. They're actually about to bring her. What do you have to say, Omar? Fasting is going well. Oh yeah, I'm still not fasting. I think I start fasting again tomorrow. You fasted two days, right? Yeah, <laughs> fasted two days. And Mr. Omar is taking a break because... Lena <laughs> forgets that people... They don't have the energy to... <laughs> they don't have the energy to, <laughs> to function when you're fasting. fasting so. I know, I quickly forgot. Like the first two days I was like, oh my god, I'm so dead. And then now I'm like, Omar, why are you just sitting there on the couch? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Since I have a little bit of time before Elena gets here, I have 
just opened up a package from Veiled Collection. I haven't steamed any of these pieces yet, so I really am, was, wasn't planning on doing like a try on or anything in today's video. I'll probably do like maybe a reel or something with these pieces, and then I can post it to shorts if you guys don't have Instagram. I thought I would just do a little haul for y'all because these pieces are so beautiful. They'd be perfect for Eid or even just like a really nice if summer dinner or something, but they have all these like matching sets this year, which I'm obsessed with. It's a like a long abaya and then a satin slip dress underneath that match and it's gonna be so hard to like show y'all but this is like a really pretty sage green which is so gorgeous i got this one in this like really pretty nudish like a pinky light brown so beautiful they also have it in a pretty like i got all the colors you guys because i was just so obsessed even though i don't really have that many occasions to wear these but they're just so beautiful i'll link all the ones that i got down below and they also do give me a discount code i also got this dress it still has the tag on it this tiered maxi dress that i thought would be perfect for like a vacation so if you guys have any trips coming up after ramadan oh so pretty with sandals oh the last piece which they actually threw in i didn't even realize that they had this on their website oh it's so very cold you guys i'm not going to be able to show like do it justice but it's a two-piece like pant set wide leg pants and then this wrap blazer that ties on the side do you guys see that it is so cute so anyways stay tuned for like a little reel or tiktok or whatever that i do with these i just thought i would show you and then i'll link them down below in, in case any of you guys are interested we just got to my in-laws house and elena is gonna see her baby cousin and we're gonna eat iftar come on elena let's go you see the baby can you give baby you know, a kiss? A fun thing. Can you give him a kiss? Baby kiss. Oh. Oh. Baby. <laughs> baby. Good job, Lele. Baby. Oh. Oh. Can you give baby a kiss? Not helping my baby fever whatsoever. <laughs> Hi, baby so Lele. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, he's smiling. Look at him. Kiss. Oh, my goodness. Can you give baby a kiss? Baby. baby. That's right. Oh, uh, on the lips. That is, that is so sweet. Baby. <laughs> wow. Just like that, the first week of Ramadan is complete. SubhanAllah, this Ramadan is going by so, so fast. And I haven't really even been able to get like truly in the Ramadan spirit, honestly, because I haven't been fasting for the past week, but I am starting again tomorrow. I just ate lunch and I was like, this is my last lunch for like three weeks and I better enjoy like every bite. <laughs> So are any of you guys like that where when you're not fasting you like truly cannot get into like the full Ramadan spirit because that's how I am So I'm just like so ready to get back into the swing of things I did want to quickly update you guys on the charity that me and my sisters are helping to raise money for this Ramadan We are helping to raise money for Syrians who are um, displaced in their own country living in tents uh, And we're helping to build them homes and a whole village for them to live in and this is such an amazing cause and alhamdulillah We've already raised a lot thousand dollars with the help of you guys and we really want to hopefully get to 30k by the end of ramadan i really think we can do that so i will leave a link down below if you guys are interested it's a really amazing cause to donate to this month a less important note i did want to share with you guys the outfit that i'm wearing because i just got a package in from zahra the label i'm planning on doing some kind of content around all the new pieces that i got in i don't know if you guys want reels or TikToks or whatever, or if you guys just want me to show it in my story, or if you want, guys want like a whole try on haul in a video, let me know down below how you guys want these outfits. But I thought I would just show you guys the one I'm wearing before I leave, I'm about to go pick up Elena. It's this chocolate brown two-piece set, and it, I just took it out of the packaging, so it's a little bit wrinkled, but it comes with this long shirt and then these flared pants. My mirror is dirty because Elena has been here, but it also comes in several other colors, olive, black. I have the tan one that I got last year and they're just so good to throw on. And I've been wearing the tan one a lot to like have dinner with my parents this Ramadan. They're just really comfy 
cute casual sets and the material's not too too thick or anything so I still think they'd be great for like spring summertime. I'll be starting my second week of Ramadan vlogs this week and hopefully it'll just be a little bit more It'll just be better for you all. I feel like this one was like all over the place. But anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.